Sunday, July 25th, 2021, 9 o'clock in the morning. We are at, as you can tell, Seven Tubs, uh, Plains Township slash Bear Creek, Missouri County. We're going to try to find the DNL Trail. It's not really marked, but it's supposed to end up here. So we're going to see if we uh, can locate it. So we're going to be heading towards Laurel Run for now. Just that way, I think. That way. That way. New bridge. Old bridge. I had a brain fart. We've been following Laurel Run Creek down from the tubs. It goes down to Meadow Run Lake, Blue Bottom. And we probably should be following the railroad tracks, which are way up there. So we're going to see if, uh, if there's a way to join the two. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I see plenty of these, uh, of these barriers here, which seem to be a uh, Past the ripe date, which uh, have these little purple flowers. And a lot of them along this trail. So, whatever those berries are, if they're edible, there's tons along this old turnpike. First off, this has been all downhill. It's a little bit good thing. Then he's got to go uphill to get back. Second of all, uh, been all over this week, a few miles in either direction, and I saw all kind of mushrooms. I don't think I've seen a single mushroom this morning. So, yeah. location means a lot, I guess. Quad trail up that very steep mountain probably takes us up to the railroad tracks. So let me consider that for a moment. Alright, about it over. I've been down there a bunch of times. I've never climbed up here. So let's do it. Let's do it. This is gonna be a climb. Goodbye. What I thought was a quad trail. It's a crest of that first mountain. Turns into a footpath. Of course, coming up that mountain too. Start seeing all kind of mushrooms. Uh, nothing I don't think I've seen already. Good boy. Alright, walking on this narrow path. Look down at my phone. I look up when it was a millisecond too late. And I walked right into a spider web. All I saw was something dark in it. And I screamed because it startled me. And because I was scared. I'm not sure what that is. Which is weird because we left down there by the main road where all the purple flowers were. No mushrooms come up here now there's no purple flowers. But there's mushrooms. I guess one location gets more sun or shade than the other.
This little guy is a little bit different color. Small. Maybe two inches across. All right. That trail up the hill brought us to this. I'm not sure what this is. So once again, I gotta look at the phone. Made a little pit stop. Uh, decided we're gonna go this way. Little railroad ties. Kind of tells me there was a old railroad here. Railroad. So I don't know if this is part of the DNL. I don't think it is. I think the GPS is a little screwed up and I'm way off the mark. This is actually gonna bring us into the, uh, like I guess it's the north side of the old mountain park. Have another trail off to the left, up another mountain. We're not gonna do that one. We're gonna stay on this, which is downhill, unfortunately. Just quick note, this road right here is in better shape than 75% of the roads in Northeast PA. came down oop, that road there and what's on the sign there DNL trail did not expect that DNL trail right DNL trail up that way right that way so we're gonna go back up that way uh, we're not gonna go uh, behind here but these are obviously new signs not sure what's up with this gate so that's for another day this is our second stop this morning yeah I have no work today but uh he's looking tired already and it looks muddy that way. So, let's follow this sign up. See if we can remember where we came out. And then we just keep going past there. This is all new though. Those signs, these posts, that gate, my attitude, all new. came from down there. Almost seems like it's gonna be a parking area. Maybe it was a staging area for equipment. Wow, 152. One, five, two. And I believe this fence is here because this is a, oh, sacks. <laughs> That's a nice drop off, buddy. Yeah. This is all like brand new. Still smells like fresh cut lumber. It's a lot of time, work, and effort went into this. Outstanding work. Whoever did this, beautiful, outstanding work. And it's this old wall over here. What is that? What's that all about? Huh. That's got my curiosity. That retaining wall starts way back there. A huh, hundred yards, I'd say. I mean, this is uh, probably from the 1800s, right? Well, maybe it ends right here. Okay. But this thing is just... Uh, Pull them back a mountainside. It's still intact. 
So this railing's just put here for protection. So that walkers, joggers, hikers, bikers don't go for a ride off a cliff. And this is a this is impressive though, I'll tell you. And there's the end. It's got to be several hundred yards long. A lot of wood, a lot of wood. And the time supplies and money just spent on like the drainage ditch here. And if there's like engineering involved and whatnot. You can have that road going up. That's going to be the access road for all these power lines. I would think. We are pretty close to the tubs, I believe. Oh yeah, I think we might see the tubs right down there, the parking lot. Let's see where we'll be parked. What's that orange thing? Let's see. Orange thing. Oh yeah, there's the tubs parking lot. And the water run creeks down there. I was on this trail before, many years ago. Well, not too long ago, because uh, Saxon and I, we got all turned around, and we ended up coming out uh, the top of Giant Despair there on Laurel Run. So I know we've been on this trail going the other direction, which we'll do again. But uh, I had to call the wife to come pick us up, so we don't want to walk all the way back. This definitely wasn't like this back then. It was more like a quad trail, it was grown in, and... And this is just beautiful out here. This is going to say I'm going the wrong way. I'm not sure now. And it's a half mile marker, which we're going to get a lot of those. I had to just look it up on the camera. The first business marker was 152. This one was 151.5. Which means we are indeed heading south. We are heading towards Laurel Run. 
and this is where I wanted to go, but that was before we uh, did a giant loop to get here. So we're already a couple miles in. And I'm not sure if we're gonna go much further. Let me see if we can pick up the railroad tracks or something up here. The circle make a like just a giant circle right back to the parking lot. I believe this is the third section of a very long wooden railing. There's some type of wall here. You can see water down there. Alright, All right, I remember when I was on this trail. As I'm walking along here, there's a lot of fallen trees down through here. I'm not even sure if you can pick it up on video. But this is one of those areas that the tornado went through several years back. So that's about the time we were on this trail. So I remember seeing a lot of trees down. If we come here in the winter time, you see it much better. Oh, came right through here. All right, this is gonna be our turnaround point because we're about three miles in. And I promise that I'd let him go for a good swim. The sun's starting to burn through the clouds. So we're gonna go back down to where that new gate was. And hopefully when we do a button hook to the right, that takes us back to the main trail. Because I'm not gonna climb down that steep mountain. Going down is worse than going up sometimes. Shot that bridge on the way up, and I shot 115 power lines, but I somehow missed the uh, treadmill or uh, treadmills, windmills, treadmills, something I need to be on, windmills, something like look at. All right, almost time for a break, buddy. Almost. on the way out. Just stop now for a break, having a drink. Man was here long time ago. Man ruined the land. Man must go. So we just came back down this way. Hey, that danger, do not enter. Kind of makes me want to know what's going on in there. Note to self, investigate. All right, so as I said uh, a few short video segments ago, we're gonna come down here and button hook to the right. Which is what we're doing. Uh, real time, I probably said uh, over an hour ago. So I think that's what I said. Right. still. Trying to find that good swimming hole for Saxton. I made him a promise. We're getting to the bottom of the hill. Trail goes left. Goes towards 81. I believe it ends at like 81, like a lookout, but I'm relying on my memory for that. <laughs> and this right here, going back this way, should put us back on the original path we were on. All the way back to the Tubbs parking lot. Although when we find a certain swim hole, that, that goes down the blue bottom. 
uh, metal run lake. I do remember that. And then up here, we're going to encounter one of the best swimming holes in Northeast PA. It's early, so nobody will be there. And Saxon can go and take a swim. We couldn't wait to get to this swimming hole. So he's climbing out here. Oh, it's a climb. It's a little easier when you have four-wheel drive though, right? All right, this isn't the very exact one I was looking for, but this will do. I don't know what that says. Boom, deep right there. Oh, <laughs> get the stick. Hey, get the stick. Get the stick! Get the stick over here! Get it! Get the stick! Come on, get it! Where is he going? Look at him. He's like a sea otter. He's swimming in circles. I think he's gone bonkers. I thought he was going. What is he doing? I think he's enjoying a swim. He is. He's just enjoying a swim. Good boy. All right, we're done. Uh, a little bit of tubs, a little bit of DNL. 6.1 miles, three hours. That was after going around the uh, school. So uh, he did get a swim in <laughs> a couple times. We're done. Out.